Hey everybody, welcome back to Brainiac Baseball's 1982 Detroit Tigers season replay. Today's matchup is between the Detroit Tigers and the Oakland Athletics at the Oakland Coliseum. On the mound for Detroit is Dave Rosma, whose record is 13-8 with a 3.61 ERA. And pitching for the A's today is Larry White, whose record is 7-8 with a 4.82 ERA. Okay, we got it right yesterday against Frank Tanana. We put up six runs on him in the third inning, and uh, that was really all we needed, as uh, it felt good to mogul my arch nemesis, Frank Tanana. Uh, we had 11 runs. We had 21 hits. Gibby hit his 20th home run of the season and had uh, four RBIs. Kevin Bass had four hits, so... Um, it was a great game considering we'd lost three in a row. Uh, things were not looking too good for us, and we were facing uh, a pitcher who was potentially in the running for Cy Young, and I think we knocked him right out of that race. So uh, now the A's uh, are up, and we go to Oakland. Uh, we head up uh, the five, I guess, to Oakland, and... Uh, face the A's. So let's go ahead and get um, <coughs> excuse me, started with today's game. As always, I appreciate everyone following along, like, and or subscribe. Uh, we have gone to a four-man rotation. I mentioned that in yesterday's game. So we have Rosma today, we have Filer tomorrow, and then we go back to Burt. And uh, we may have to start Morris um, on a, a day's short rest. So um, all the bullpen is available. We're looking at the lineup here for today's game. Uh, Whitaker, Hatcher, and Eddie Murray are all listed as tired. But as I, I've said um, all this week, uh, we are uh, going with our best lineup regardless of whether or not uh, they need rest. So that's our lineup. Let's go ahead and do the official lineup rundown for the Tigers. Today against Larry Wright. White, Larry White. Okay, batting a leadoff in right field is Eddie Miller. Batting second at second base is Sweet Lou Whitaker. Batting third at third base is Mickey Hatcher. Batting cleanup in left field is Kirk Gibson. Batting fifth at first base is Eddie Murray. Batting 6th in catching is Lance Parrish. Batting 7th in center field is Andre Dawson. Batting 8th at DH is Kevin Bass. And batting ninth at shortstop is Alan Trammell. Larry White on the mound. We saw him uh, just last week. Let's take a look at uh, how we did against Mr. Larry White. Uh, Larry White got the win. Uh, he went eight innings, giving up three runs on eight hits with a dong against him and three walks. So uh, he had some moderate success against us overall, making his 18th start, 7-8 and eight with that 482 ERA. Um, 63 Ks and 117 innings pitch, and opponents are batting 301 against him. So uh, he is hittable. Let's just hope we didn't uh, lose, uh, use up all all runs and hits uh, in yesterday's ball game. There's the defensive alignment for the A's. Taking a quick look to see if there's anybody of note. Uh, Guerrero at shortstop is the only player of difference. He's making his uh, season debut today, as you can see there. Okay, here's Eddie Miller leading off. Eddie Miller kind of in a big slump. Um, only batting 178 over his last... 20 games, but he's uh, the best we have to offer in right field as he grounds out to first. One down, Sweet Lou up next, and Lou strikes out on a uh, high and tight pitch. Called for his strike, could have went either way. Two quick outs for Larry White as Hatcher steps in and he strikes out too. So that's a bad start, striking out uh, two of the Tigers' first three batters. We go to the bottom of the first. Here is the Oakland A's lineup. 
today against Dave Rosema. Batting leadoff and DHing is Shooty Babbitt. Batting second at second base is Jerry Remy. Batting third in left field is Tony Brewer. Batting cleanup at third base is Kevin Mitchell. Batting fifth at first base is Joe DeSa. Batting sixth in right field is Mike Davis. Batting seventh and catching is Ed Putman. Batting eighth in center field is Larry Herndon. And batting ninth at shortstop is Mario Guerrero. Pitching for Detroit, Dave Rosema. He, I mean, like most of our starters, he's slumping. Making his 31st start today, that it ties a career high with his 1980 sim season. Let's take a look at the log. Yeah, he's um, lost four out of his last five decisions. Got a no decision against Oakland in his last start. Pitched pretty well with seven innings. Gave up two runs on six hits. No walks. That's a, that's a very good performance. Unfortunately, uh, not good enough to get the uh, job done. He's 13-8 and eight with that 361 ERA. 184 innings pitched, 77 strikeouts. Opponents are batting 259 against him, three complete games, and a shutout this season. And you know the rest. He's not a strikeout pitcher, doesn't walk many. He's a light tosser, he's got some uh, soft tossers to mix in there. And here is the Tigers' defensive alignment. Very familiar to all of you, I'm sure. As uh, Shooty Babbitt. Steps in against Dave Rosema. Babbitt in the DH role today instead of his traditional second base position. Strikes out. Rosema strikes out the first batter of the game. Here is the second baseman for today, Jerry Remy. One of three lefties in there. And he gaps it. This is a big ballpark. Very spacious out there as Remy gets a double. That is his 29th double of the season in scoring position against Rosema. Tony Brewer up next, batting 267 with 25 home runs. A ground ball to Trammell. That'll hold Remy at second base as Brewer's gunned down at first. Next up is the cleanup hitter, Kevin Mitchell, leading the team with 29 home runs. And a ground ball to Trammell is short, and Trammell throws him out. Nicely done. Okay, we go to the top of the second. We got Gibby, Murray, and Parrish up. I just noticed, I guess I didn't see this before, but Guerrero at short rated a 73. So that is a position we could take advantage of uh, with the left fielder and... Um, the shortstop. Here's Gibby. Gibby had the four RBI yesterday, the, the 20th home run of this season. And here he walks. 72% stealing second. Um, we're going to hit, you know, hmm, what are we going to do here? Let's let Murray swing away. He is batting 302 versus right handers. Uh, he's been terrible. We all know it. Hey, he goes the opposite way. Just past Guerrero at short. That's the way to do it. So he's swinging away. Gets a base hit. First hit of the Tigers. Next up is Lance Parrish. Parrish sitting on 14 home runs. We're going to swing away. And a ground ball to first. That should be an easy double play. Oh, no. Murray hustling. Uh, the only play was for uh, the first baseman, decide to step on the bag. So one down, runners on second and third. Uh, they're not playing the infield in. So we're going to let Dawson swing away. Dawson actually is our hottest hitter, batting over 300 in the last 20 games. And he goes over the head of the first baseman down the right field line. Two runs score. And uh, we're going to say no. Uh, going for two, and it's 2 nothing Detroit. So we are definitely carrying over the uh, run scoring from yesterday. Now we're going to try to steal second. Only a 69% chance against uh, Putman. Let's keep the pressure on, though. Curveball. Oh, Dawson is thrown out. 
I think that's the second time in a row for Dawson. Uh, 10 for 16. And uh, yeah, he got. So he's been caught three straight times. Youch. I guess if I had known that, we would not have gone for it. So two down. Here's Kevin Bass. And Bass hits a ground ball to Guerrero. It's short. And that'll finish off the Tiger. So we killed the rally. Got a little cocky there. Go to the bottom of the second. Here's Joe DeSa. A couple lefties. DeSa, Davis, and then Putman. Are due up. And DeSa with the base hit. Into right field. And an error by Miller allows DeSa to go to second base. Miller, not a good defensive uh, right fielder. Look at he's got a 9.55 fielding percentage in right, so not um, not what you want out of a right fielder. As Davis hits a ground ball to third, as a left-hander, he really should have been pulling that. So Desaz got a hold. One out. Here's Ed Putman batting 195 versus right-handers and 218 overall. Ground ball to Trammell again. Desa. Oh, he was going, and Trammell gunned him down at third. So some bad base running by both teams. Putman safe at first. And here's Larry Herndon, who, of course, as you can see here, was on the Tigers in 1982. And as I mentioned, I believe, in the last series, he led the Tigers in batting in 82. Oh, man, that's not good. We walked him. Uh, that will bring up Mario Guerrero. Take a look at Mario Guerrero. Has not played in the major since 1979 uh, when he was on Oakland. And so this is his first game in three seasons. And uh, this is the kind of thing where I feel like we're somewhat doomed. You can't win with this. Like uh, We're a probably outfield in, but it's like Guerrero's coming back to the majors. And he walks. That was a close pitch. I guess it was a few inches outside. And now the bases are loaded. As uh, Rosma, who doesn't walk very many, he's already got two walks here in the inning. Back-to-back -back walks. And we're just going to play straight away. That's all we can do. And hope for a ground ball from Babbitt. Yep, there's an easy ground ball to Whitaker. And the Tigers get out of it. We go to the top of the third. Still two to nothing. We got Trammell, Miller, and Whitaker do up. Here's Trammell. Trammell strikes out looking. Come on, guys. Here's Eddie Miller. He needs to atone for his error. Striking out. This is ridiculous. I mean, Larry White's not even a strikeout pitcher. He's got 67 strikeouts. That's including the four for today. Uh, in 120 innings, so it doesn't make any sense. And then on a 3-1 pitch, curveball, Whitaker sends it to right. So that's a nice bounce back inning for Larry White. You go to the bottom of the third. We um, we have to keep an eye on Rosemary here. He does not look good today. Uh, he's not giving up a run, but he's given up two hits, a double, uh, a couple of walks as Remy hits a fly ball to 370 feet to center field. This is not an easy park to hit a home run. Um, and look at all the foul ground here. So um, typically, traditionally, not a lot of hits. Tony Brewer, ground ball to second. Two down. And here's Kevin Mitchell. Mitchell, ground ball to second. Okay, we're going to the top of the fourth. We got Mickey Hatcher, Gibby, and Eddie Murray. There we go. Down the right field line, all the way to the wall. And an error by the right fielder, Davis, uh, gives Hatcher a spot at, on third. That is his 18th double of the season. Nicely done. Uh, they're, uh, the infield's back, so we're going to let Gibby swing away. Anything but a pop-up scores a run. Oh, that'll do it. 
Gibby, we set him free yesterday. 21 home runs on the season. A two-run shot, and it's 4 to nothing, Detroit. So our offense um, has been electric these last two days. There's a base hit for Murray past uh, Guerrero at short. S still nobody out. Let's see if we can get Parrish right. Oh, that looked like a nice pitch to go up Otaku. Instead, it's just a fly out to right field. We're going to hit and run with Dawson. Dawson drove in the first two runs. One down, runner on first. Ah, and a comebacker to White. As Murray is safe at second. And an opportunity for big hit Bass to drive in the fifth run. And a base hit up the middle. Is that deep enough to score Murray, though? Two down, and he does score from second. Nicely done by Bass. An RBI single up the middle. And the Tigers are definitely taking advantage of the left side of the infield. So Bass on second. We're going to send him. I know it's only 69% chance, and Gibby was not successful. But we want to try to keep the pressure on. Curveball, and Bass is successful stealing Second, his fifth stolen base of the season. Five out of seven. Runner in scoring position for Tram. Trammell has not had a big hit since coming back from injury. As he pops out to second base, we go to the bottom of the third. Tigers get three runs uh, on uh, the home run by uh, Gibson and the single by Bass. I think I said bottom of the third, but I mean bottom of the fourth. And Joe DeSa leading off. Fly ball into right center field. And Miller makes the catch going to his left. His right. I guess technically. Not technically. It is his left. His right. I don't know. I'm not good with these things. Davis grounds out to second, and um, Rosie, who looked like he was up against the ropes, is suddenly putting it together here. Getting a pop-up from Putman, and we're going to the fifth. One, two, three inning for Rosie, and we have Eddie Miller leading off. Miller 0 for 2 with a strikeout today. And he is just... Struggling. Is that going to fall in, though? It does fall in right in front of the center fielder, Herndon. Do we want to go for two? I guess we do not. We will hit and run with Sweet Lou. And Lou rips it to right for a base hit. Miller goes to third. And it's first and third. Nobody out for Mickey Hatcher. Hatcher still sitting on 90 RBI. I'd love to see him get an RBI here. Um, he won't get one if he hits into a double play, though. So let's just get a base hit and make it easy. Oh, he nubs it off the wrist in the center field. That'll score Miller. There's RBI number 91. And it's 6 nothing, Detroit. That's the first out of the inning. Here's Gibby. Gibby had that two-run shot to go with a walk. Ground ball to short, and somehow they turn a double play with a couple of fast-paced runners. We get our run and extend the lead. It's six to nothing. We go to the bottom of the fifth. It's eight, nine, and one due up. It's beginning with Larry Herndon. And Rosie doing what he does best, getting the ground balls. Ground ball to second. There's one out. Here's Guerrero. Line drive to first and Murray makes the play. Scorcher right at Murray for the second out. And here's Shooty Babbitt. Oh, Babbitt got all of it. He went up Otako into the right field bleachers. I sat opening day. I sat right there in uh, 2002. 
the money ball year. Uh, okay, so it's six to one, and I sure would like to see Rosie get through this inning. There we go. I think we'll ask one more of Rosema as uh, we go to the top of the sixth. Eddie Murray leading off. Murray, Parrish, and Dawson. Murray rips it right down the line. And uh, the first baseman, Dasaw, makes a good play. One down. Big wheel up next. Parrish just cannot get off the schneid. Popping up to second base. Just on the fringe of the outfield grass. Two down, and Dawson pops it up at the plate. Putman makes the catch. Okay. We go to the bottom of the sixth inning. Got a couple of righties and then a couple of lefties. So let's see how this goes for Rosma. As Tony Brewer steps in. And there's a base hit to left. That's the fourth hit. And uh, here's the best hitter on the team, arguably, Kevin Mitchell. Last year's Rookie of the Year. And he gets a base hit. So that's it for Rosma. Barely got through five. We're going to bring in our best left-hander versus lefties. That's George Capizello. Take a look at Cappy. 63rd game, 6-3 and three with that 133 ERA, 67 and two-thirds innings pitch. He's got 43 strikeouts. Opponents are batting 2-12 against him. Uh, he's got a save. He's got three blown saves. Take a look at his log. And um, it's been a while since he struggled. 211 ERA in his last 20 games. But that's what counts right there, that opponent's batting average of 174 versus lefties. Let's get a double play here with Joe DeSa at the plate. DeSa batting 163 versus left-handers. There's a ground ball to Trammell. Let's get two. Oh, come on. They can only get the runner at second as Brewer advances to third. And we're going to play back. That run doesn't mean anything. Mike Davis batting 212 versus left handers. And a base hit. That's bullshit. So it's 6 to 2. And we're going to go to the righty. We're bringing in Dave Smith. It's a little bit early for Dave Smith in, in the ball game, but um, we rely on him. This is his 33rd game in a Tigers uniform. 3 and 1 with a 260 ERA, 29 Ks, 34 innings, only 6 walks. Opponents are batting 219 against him. Oops. Uh, and righties are batting 236. So. Oops. There we go. All right, come on, Dave Smith. Let's go. We've got the catcher at the plate. Three run shot could close the gap though. Ground ball up the middle. Trammell snags it. And they get the runner at second. Okay, well. I <laughs> I don't know why we can't turn double plays uh, with our elite level of defense. We got two down, runners on first and third with Larry Herndon up. Herndon betting 290. He's got some pop. And he pops it up. Whitaker on the outfield grass. Oh, come on! No way! That is horseshit. Okay, now we're in trouble. Because that kind of thing doesn't happen unless they want to stick it to you really hard. Uh, who knows? Wow. That was crap. And now... Now I'm nervous because that, that kind of stuff doesn't happen uh, unless there's some something bad on the horizon. So we cannot take our foot off the pedal here. Let's go, Kevin Bass. Let's take a look at the in-game stats. Player of the game, uh, let's see, it could be Gibby with his home run. Murray's got a couple of hits. Dawson's got a couple of RBIs. Parrish and Trammell, the only 
players without hits so far. So here's Bass, one for two with a ribby. There we go. Oh, snagged by Desa. All right, nice play. Larry White's only at 76 pitches here. Uh, Trammell strikes out. Wow. Second K for Trammell. Five overall for White. And back to the top of the lineup. Just a terrible game for Miller. We go to the <coughs> bottom of the seventh. I'm all choked up. Mostly because I'm pissed right now. Uh, we're going to leave Dave Smith in there. I don't like to do that. I kind of want to take out uh, Hatcher, but he's due up next inning, so we, we want to try to not make any more errors this inning if we can. And Babbitt gets a base hit to right. This is total bullshit. We are about to get crushed. There's no point in taking out Smith. We got a lefty, then two more righties. That's Jerry Remy. Infield single. Yeah, this game is about to be tied. And there's nothing we can do about it. Strikeout. Here's Kevin Mitchell. He drills him. So the bases are loaded. And the tying, uh, the go-ahead run is at the plate. We're going to go right to Dave Rucker. And uh, this may not have any effect at all. we got two lefties due up. We're going to play back for a double play. A base hit scores two. Ground ball to Trammell. And there's our double play. Hallelujah. Where's the aspirin? It's 6-4-3 double play. We go to the top of the eighth. Tigers maintain a three-run lead. And I don't feel good about it. Larry White at 89 pitches, striking out his sixth Tiger. Mickey Hatcher up next, popping it up. I should have just pinched it for him. Two down, and Gibby. That sends it high into the center field. It will be caught by the center fielder, and that'll do it. So we're taking out Hatcher. We're bringing in Solars. Um, I mean, I'd love to take out um, Miller, but we have our other outfielder as a DH, so. Okay. So, we need Rucker to get Davis here. And, uh, again, I don't feel good about this at all. All right, it's a pop-up, but this could be a, another error. All right. Rucker, good job by Rucker getting that double play and the pop-up. We're going to bring in a right-hander. It feels too early. No, because we're... Oh, shoot. What are we going to do here? Uh, okay, we're going to bring in Weaver. And he might have to go more than an inning here to get the save. As he faces Ed Putman. Oh, let's take a look at Weaver's numbers. Uh, I mean, this is where he's awesome. This is really all you need to know here. His opponent's batting average. Righty on righty. They're batting 164 against him. And he's doing pretty good versus lefties as well. I still don't like the righty-lefty matchup. But um, we may have to do that through the next inning. So let's see here. We're going to start it off with Ed Putman. One down. Putman pops it up. There we go. Oh, no. Okay. Wow. I mean, when, when you pop up, when Whitaker drops a pop-up, I think anybody's capable of dropping a pop-up. Herndon drops it into right center field. That's a hit. Will he go for two? No, he does not. They're leaving Mario Guerrero in there. I can't believe they're not pinch hitting for him. We're going to play straight away. And a pop-up. Again, it's in foul territory, but that doesn't mean anything. Okay. Woo! We're going to the ninth. It's 6-3. to three. Detroit 
And we've been shut down since uh, the run in the fifth. We're still sitting on eight hits. So White, I mean, he's given up six runs, but in a weird way, it's been a decent performance. There's a ground ball by Murray to short. Of course, the shortstop doesn't make an error all game, but Whitaker drops a pop-up. One down, here's Lance Parrish. One of the few Tigers without a hit. Another ground ball to short. And Dawson. Oh, wow. Ripped it. Is that going to get down off the wall? No, it's caught. All right. So we have uh, two righties and a lefty due up here in the bottom of the ninth. Weaver's only thrown nine pitches, but you know my theory. I do not like bringing relievers out for a second inning. I mean, just look what happened to Dave Smith. Um, and Babbitt uh, has hit a home run against us already today. Here we go. Babbitt, fly ball to center. Dawson makes the play. One down. Okay, uh, we are going <coughs> to guard the lines against Jerry Remy, a left-handed hitter, batting 312. Again, Weaver pitches pretty good against lefties. Ground ball to Trammell. Trammell throws him out. Tigers are down to their final out here against the A's. It's Tony Brewer, one for four today. And he walks him, of course. All right, they like to make it interesting. Kevin Mitchell's up, betting 219. And he's got 29 home runs. A home run won't, won't tie it up. Hey, it's a pop-up to short Trammel. Come on. Tigers win 6-3. to three. I knew it the whole time. Handshakes, butt slaps, sloppy stakes. Um, let's take a look here at the standings. And the Tigers have jumped in front of the Yankees. Nicely done. The Yankees, uh, just as the Tigers are, both 5-5 five and five in the last 10 games. Milwaukee, <coughs> sorry. Uh, Milwaukee has been eliminated uh, with the Tigers' victory today, despite coming on strong and having the most home runs uh, in all of baseball. That's kind of impressive with all their rookie players. Let's take a look at the National League. Wow, the, Ye uh, the Mets have opened it up. They have a three-game lead over St. Louis. Philadelphia faltering down the stretch. They're 3-7 and seven in their last 10 games. Kind of hard to win a division when you're batting 240 and you can't even hit 100 home runs despite 214 <laughs> stolen bases. Okay, so, and, uh, and Cincinnati's already won the division. The question is, uh, how many games will they win? Let's go ahead and go to the headline news. Brainiac Baseball Daily Beat. Advancing a day. New York loses game 6-4 to four and the lead. Uh, the Angels knock the New York Yankees out of first place. With a 6-4 to four win, uh, number 5 hitter Mike Brown anchored the offense with two homers. Nice. Four RBIs. Ron Romanek, uh, if you are a baseball mogul uh, player, you know that R Ron Romanek, uh, Romanek uh, in this game is really great, but he gets injured a lot. Let's take a look at his scouting. Yeah, his health is a 59. Uh, I've... I've had him on Tiger teams in the past, and he'll get you 10, 12, 15 wins, but uh, he always gets hurt. He might even miss a whole season. Uh, so anyway, let's advance. 6-3 to three victory puts Detroit in first. Not a lot to tell you about <laughs> otherwise. Kevin ba Bass added one hit, a steal, and uh, an RBI. And he might be the uh, player of the game. Okay, let's take a look at uh, transactions. Oh, look at that. Roy Branch of Seattle is going to be out for two months. He's going to miss all the playoffs. So if, if Seattle wins the division, uh, they will not have Roy Branch. And we see this uh, the Mariners in the next series 
and Branch will not be there. Uh, also, the Yankees, Doug Bear will be out for a week. Okay, let's pull up the box score and get out of here. Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, like and or subscribe to the channel. Um, I'm thinking of doing like a um, like a promotion for my, uh, other friends' channels, like during the uh, Tigers lineup, like maybe calling it like uh, today's lineup is sponsored by, you know, whoever's channel out there. I'll do it for free, you know, but if you want me to do it, just let me know and uh, we can add uh, your channel, promote it. And maybe put a video at the end of the videos. Uh, okay, here we go. So, uh, player of the game. This is a tough one. Um, Bass was one for three with that stolen base and an RBI. Game-winning RBI was uh, Dawson, though. And Gibby hit the home run. I think we're going to give it to Gibby. Back-to-back -back games. Uh, Gibson with back-to-back -back games with home runs. Dave Rosma did not really pitch very well. Um, bailed out by the bullpen. As uh, Rosie gets his 14th win on the season, 14 and eight, and Roger Weaver goes one and two third innings to get the save. So good job by Weaver. Larry White gets a complete game, giving up six runs. Uh, but in his defense, uh, he nailed it down after the uh, fifth inning. So good job by him. That's going to do it. We're going to come back tomorrow with game two of the four game series. Until then, everyone have a great night.